Our future plans, we are building a CTE building pending a bond passing in May. Um, and my, one of my first conversations with both our CTE director and my CFO was, we do not need to purchase this equipment. This, for the freshmen coming in, the products that we're gonna ask them to create in four years is not going to be sustained by the equipment we put in place today. Um, both because of product shortages, but also because of the emergent technologies that we know are coming. There is no point in investing this much money into devices that are not going to meet the needs of certifications, of programs, the high levels of expectations that we wanna see for our kids. Um, five years down the line is not gonna be met by this equipment. And if you think of the size of our team, I can't afford to go put more RAM in. I can't afford to go extend these devices with products that are gonna require hands-on time versus let me lease, let me try, let me figure out, and in three, four, or five years, I can give that back and make a new commitment, make a new decision based on the needs of those students. Um, I have a 21-year-old and an 11-year-old, and the differences in both their capabilities and exposures just in that time span, again, teaches me that nothing lasts forever, and there's zero point in trying to protect this 11-year-old from what my 21-year-old <laughs> experienced, because it's a whole new world. Um, we got dances, and we got lack of, I mean, it's just it's a whole, it's a difference. Different panel. <laughs> Different panel, Colleen. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> But again, it just has shown me that there's no point in trying to plan around today's kids for tomorrow's students. And so leasing really allows you to, that flexibility, that lack of a short-term commitment to meet those needs.